I see the body structure, the face of an African American person in San Francisco. This person's life expectancy is low. On average, African American men were expected to live for under 72 years. In comparison to Asian men at 84 years, Hispanic men at 78 years, white men at 76 years, black women live longer at 79 years but still fall behind white women. I see the food deserts, the neighborhoods of liquor stores. There is no Whole Foods, no Safeway, no healthy supermarket in sight. We all know someone in our families with diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and even cancer. I see the different shades of black people, the different color of eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, different hands, some bigger and some smaller. I see the bus, the African Americans forced to take public transportation in the middle of a pandemic, forced to work low-income jobs where they are exposed daily to COVID-19 and other viruses. Despite making up smaller portions of America's population, black and brown folks were disproportionately affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Constant exposure in the workplace and on public transit surely has nothing to do with this. Along with the pre-existing factors such as diabetes, which we mentioned earlier. On one block I see a nice building and just one block away I see homelessness and people living on the street. The drugs on the ground where kids walk past, the substance abuse, and all these abandoned buildings and empty apartments. The Tales of Two Cities. Author Frederick Douglass once said, You are not judged by the height you have risen, but from the depth you have climbed. Our people have climbed great depths and reached great heights, but we still have ways to go. I am confident we will get there one day. For more information on youth sexual health and well-being, please visit sf.gov/youth.